Is it Orlando? Yes. Let me just ask you point blank. Did you kill Tupac Shakur? I'm not in kill Tupac. I mean, I don't know why, you know what I'm saying? They would, they would even say something like that. I mean, you know, I want, just want to, you know, I just want to tell everyone that, you know what I mean, I didn't, um, you know, I didn't do it. And I, you know what I'm saying, I feel sorry for him, you know what I'm saying, his fans and his, you know, yeah. and his family and friends. I'm thinking, you know, maybe I'm a scapegoat or something. I just want to let everybody know, you know what I'm saying, I ain't, you know what I'm saying, I didn't do it. You involved in any way in the death of Tupac Shakur? No, I was not involved. I mean, I'm like a victim. You know what I'm saying? I feel, you know what I'm saying, sorry for him. Civil yeah. court. They claim there is evidence he was in the white Cadillac that night in Las Vegas, that he got out and fired the shots. From 1995 to date, have you ever ridden in a white Cadillac? No. Do you know anyone who owns a white Cadillac? No. Anderson, an alleged Los Angeles gang member, has vigorously denied any involvement in the murder and in depositions claimed he was not at the scene. The state says the shooting was in retaliation for a fight in which Anderson was beaten by Shakur and others. One of the reasons the estate is bringing the case is because no police uh, are involved in seriously looking into the case. Attorney Rick Fishbein, who represents the Shakur estate, argues Las Vegas police are purposely ignoring the murder. They have a murder of a black rap artist on the street of a city that they're attempting to turn into Disney World uh, of the Midwest or West. Police refused an interview with CBS News but gave us this statement. Other than the fact that Orlando's name is bandied about, often mostly by the press, he is a person we had interest in. He is not currently a suspect. Suspect in the murder of Tupac Shakur was shot to death in Compton on Friday afternoon following a gun battle that left two other men dead. Police say Anderson was gunned down moments after arriving at a Compton car wash shortly after 3 p.m. in the wake of what they are calling a previous monetary dispute. He was 23 years old. Anderson, you recall, was beaten by Shakur and death row record chief Shrub Knight in the Las Vegas MGM Grand on the night of September 1996. Ever since that moment, law enforcement officials, gang informants, even members of the Shakur family have cited Anderson as the prime suspect in Shakur's murder. But Anderson always fiercely denied any of those charges, and no official charges were ever brought. We'll have more on this story as the week continues, and we'll have more news at 10 to the hour every hour right here on MTV. What up, YouTube? This is Sticky Situation TV. I'm giving you an episode of California Street Legends. Orlando Anderson, AKA Baby Lane, was a Southside Crip gang member from the city of Compton, California. The gang is famously known for being linked to high profile murderers including rapper Tupac Shakur and Yatunde Price that was shot and killed in a drive-by shooting by a Southside gang member. She was the sister to tennis players Venus and Serena Williams. They claim Southside due to their turf being in the southern area of Compton. Members are known to wear apparel by the Seattle Mariners with the S for South to signify their affiliation with the Southside Crips. They are composed of smaller cliques such as the Burris Street Crew, Glencoe Ave, and the A-Line, Alondra Boulevard. Their neighborhood runs from Compton Boulevard to Greenleaf Boulevard between Long Beach Boulevard and Santa Fe Ave. Their territory is north of the 91 Gardena Freeway and west of their longtime allies, the Atlantic Drive Compton Crips. During the 1980s crack epidemic era, the Southside Crips capitalized off the crack epidemic, became with numerous drug houses scattered through their neighborhood. The South Side 
and the Atlantic Drive Crips formed an alliance with the Nutty Block Compton Crips. Fast forward to July 1996, Orlando Anderson was involved in an altercation at Lakewood Mall where he and his entourage assaulted Trayvon Lane, an employee of Death Row Records. Three Pyru Bloods had been approached by Southside Crips in a footlocker. Trayvon Lane was wearing a gold necklace from which dangled a death row emblem, a personal gift from Suge Knight. One of the Crips snatched it. In the hood, that's like taking a war trophy. This can be the most embarrassing and humiliating thing that happens to anybody from the streets. Fast forward to September 1996, Trey had been a part of the death row posse the night of the Tyson fight and had told Tupac in the seconds before Baby Lane was assaulted that Baby Lane was one of the Crips who had confronted him in the Foot Locker. After spotting Baby Lane at the MGM, they punched and kicked him to the floor repeatedly. Baby Lane then gets up and scatters into the night. Then after, Tupac and Suge Knight and the rest of the death row camp left the MGM and got a change of clothes, jumped into the cars and headed to Club 662. Meanwhile, Baby Lane, Keefe D, Big Dre, and the driver Bubble Up would spend this time getting a gun to be used to retaliate for the casino fight. At around 11 p.m., Tupac was riding in the passenger seat of a black BMW that Suge Knight was driving near the Las Vegas Strip. The BMW paused at a stoplight at Flamingo Road and Colville Lane, a block from the Strip. At around this time, Keefe D, Baby Lane, Big Trey, and Bubble Up spot Tupac and Suge Knight talking to some females. The white Cadillac quickly pulled up alongside Tupac and Suge Knight. Baby Lane rolls down the window, pulling out a Glock 22 40 caliber pistol and shoots into the BMW multiple times. Baby Lane fired more than a dozen rounds. Tupac was hit with four bullets two of them hitting his chest, puncturing his right lung. The other two bullets hit his hand and his thigh. Shook Knight then drives off, running the red light, while Bubble Up makes a right turn and disappears into the night. Shug's car is hit with a spray of bullets. What are Tupac's wounds, as far as you know? His wounds are he's suffering from multiple gunshot wounds to the chest and also has a wound to, to his, his thigh. Um, he's undergone uh, two series of surgeries. He's had a right lung removed. He's back in his room, and, he, and again, he remains in critical condition. Those bullets did a significant amount of damage to his body eternally. The first bullet hit his right pinky finger and went through his hand. The second bullet hit his thigh bone, ricocheted into his abdomen, and ended up floating in his pelvis. The final bullet entered his chest underneath his arm and became lodged in his lung. After Tupac was shot and killed in Las Vegas, this controversy sparked deadly rivalry between two of Compton's biggest gangs. The Southside Crips and the Mob Pyru Gang. Shug Knight was suspected of supplying the mob pyrus 
with military assault rifles along with their allies at the time, the Looters Park Pyrus. Around the time cliques of the Southside Crips, especially the Burris Street Crew and the Glencoe Ave fall victim to the gang war. Baby Lane continued to live his life and never be indicted on charges for the murder of Tupac. Fast forward to May 29th, 1998. Orlando Anderson is hit with a devastating blow when he finds out that his grandmother has passed. He gets together with his friend Michael Darrow and they begin to start drinking and getting intoxicated. They both decide to go to Mom's Burgers to get something to eat. Where he bumps in to Jerry Stone, aka J Dog, and his brother Michael Stone. Baby Lane then bounces out on both of them and starts to argue with the Corner Pocket Crip members over an unpaid drug debt that Jerry Stone owed to Keefe D, Baby Lane's uncle. Things get heated and Jerry Stone pulls out a gun. Michael Darrow then talks Jerry Stone to put the gun away. When Jerry Stone puts his gun down, that's when Baby Lane pulls out his 9mm and shoots Jerry Stone. After Baby Lane shoots and kills Jerry Stone, his brother Michael Stone then pulls out his gun and shoots Baby Lane dead. When Baby Lane hits the floor, he drops his gun and his friend Michael Darrow, aka Lil Owl, picks up the 9mm and shoots Michael Stone dead. Michael Darrow then jumps into his whip and drives off. While Baby Lane is dying in the car, Michael Darrow then crashes the car six minutes away from the police department. The police were already on the way to the scene after hearing the shots from the shootout. Michael Darrow jumps out the car and sees Reggie Wright Sr. driving towards him. Michael Darrow then puts his hands up in the air and Reggie Wright Sr. gets out the car and sees Baby Lane dying on the floor. With the car they were in riddled in bullet holes. Police and paramedics arrive at the scene taking care of Baby Lane and his friend Michael Darrow. A cop then tries to get a confession from Baby Lane while he's on the floor dying. And just like Tupac, he cusses out the cop right before he dies. They were all taken to the hospital where Baby Lane, Jerry Stone, and Michael Stone were all pronounced dead. Michael Darrow was the only survivor from that shooting and was later charged and convicted for all three deaths. Michael Darrow goes to prison for triple murder, just like his father. Michael Darrow Sr., who was also charged and convicted for three murders years prior. Baby Lane was 23 years old at the time of his death. He leaves behind a longtime girlfriend and four daughters. Baby Lane and his grandma both died the same day and were buried together on the same day. Baby Lane died before he was ever charged for the death of rapper Tupac. What's sad to me is he died the same way as Tupac and they both even look alike and resemble as brothers, even both cussing out cops right before they passed. Fast forward to 27 years later, his uncle Keefe D gets arrested 
and indicted for the murder of Tupac Shakur. After Keefe D self snitches on himself numerous times in interviews and also snitching on P Diddy saying that he paid $1 million for the murder of Tupac, which he never received. That's the car wash right there. You know what I'm talking about? It's the car wash with Baby Lane that killed Tupac. He got he, he killed he got killed right there. You know what I'm taking you know what I'm saying? Him and uh and the nigga from Paru, they got into a shootout right up there, you know what I'm saying? Till they killed each other, you know what I mean? That's an OG car wash been here for years as well. This is the laundry right here. The cage is right here to the right. We're finna go to the hill right up here. Okay, what about how did... So how did everybody know that this dude killed... What's his name? Baby what, Lane? Baby Lane, yeah. That's the dude. So, you know, I'm not gonna... I don't know if he really killed Tupac. That's who supposedly killed Tupac. You did what I'm talking about? Well, and that's where he was at in his nappy, you know what I'm saying? Getting his car washed and he got into a shootout up here. You know what I'm saying? That's where he died at, you know what I'm saying? So the person they said that originally killed him that was in that video, I think wasn't the dude, was that the dude that was on the video? At that casino? Yeah, that's supposed to be oh, him. That yeah, was exactly. Supposed him, that's right. supposed okay. to be him right there who killed Tupac. That's supposed to be killed Pac. You know what I'm saying? That's where it happened at right there. So that's old. Appreciate y'all for watching the video. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you to everyone who has been supporting my channel. It has grown so much in this past week. And thank you so much for all the support. This is the first time I do content like this. So let me know what you think on the comments and who I should do next. Thank you to 1090 Jake for the inspiration and the messages with the good advice you gave me. I appreciate that. I'm out. Peace.